There is a nation called Malasia. A micronation, to be precise. Located just outside of Reno, in Dayton, Nevada. It is a small speck of land, 1.3 acres to be exact. But through a strange loophole, it is technically considered a nation. It is run by a man named Kevin Baugh, who has declared himself the proud president of this land. He has been called one curly short of the Three Stooges, but he does manage to keep order in his humble country. For the most part, Malasia is a quiet, simple, gentle land that has yet to subject itself to any intense, hostile violence. That is where the Nostalgia Critic comes in. Nostalgia critic, online personality, and all around spectacular guy. I'm fine. Anyway, I run a website that has all sorts of reviewers that come together and, well, review stuff. I don't like to brag, but uh, we're pretty successful. I noticed that uh, you have your own nation here. You must be very proud. To be fair, um, it is not very big, and um, you're not very big. So, let's just cut to the chase here. I am going to invade you. My army is going to take you down, conquer Malasia, and take it as our own. Now, don't get any bright ideas. Don't try to fight back or anything like that. My army is quite literally unstoppable, undefeatable, and of course, invincible. Where you are, well, just you. <laughs> so, I'll give you uh, ten minutes to pack things up and piss off. Why do they always want to do it the hard way?
It's time. Hello. It's time. Yellow. It's time. Hello? Uh, yeah, what does it's time mean? What? I don't know, you just called me up and said it's time, like I'm supposed to know what that means. Get on the wagon, Phelous, it's the takeover of Molossia! The takeover of what? Uh, uh, hold on, I gotta call me your wife. Hello? Hey, yeah, what's this it's time thing you're talking about? Don't you know? No. Uh, look, it doesn't matter, just meet me in Molossia. Where? Hey, uh, hold on, I got another call. Hello? Yeah, it's, uh, 3.22 p.m. What? I thought you were asking what time it was. No, no, I'm telling you it is time! Yeah, and that time is 3.22 p.m. No, no, I, oh, I got another call. Hold on. Hello? I'm behind you 110% critic. Any Chick-fil-A's refusing to serve us delicious nuggets on Sundays from here on out will be blown sky high! <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Wait, what are you talking about? The invasion of Molossia. What is Molossia? Hey, hold on, I'll get back to you. Hello? Uh, yeah, I got 324 here, but I think Spoonie's watch is more accurate. Oh, hold on a minute. Hello? Me again. Sorry. Hello? Hi, still running on Confused here. Look, it's hard to explain. Just meet me in Malasia. It's in Nevada. Okay, I'll just, uh, walk over to Nevada. I'll fly you there. When? I don't know. I can barely keep track of who I'm talking to. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta call Sean. Who? The epic fail guy. Oh, yeah, he's funny. Yes. Hello? 3.23 p.m. Go away. Hey, send him a snub. Guilty as charged. Any chance you have Sean's number? Your mom has Sean's number. Shut up. Believe it or not, Sean isn't at home. Leave a message at <sighs> the beach. Let me see if Goggles is on board. Hello, that chick with the goggles. Goggles? It's time. It is? Yes, we are taking over Malasia. We're taking over Malasia. I know, right? So get your stuff together and come oh, down to- By the way, this has been an answering machine the whole time. Leave your message after the beep. Hello? Little Miss Gamer, I need your help. We are taking over Malasia. Oh, yeah, you know, I'd love to, Critic, but I'm, I'm a little busy right now. Huh? Doing what? Uh, yeah, I kind of got sucked into my Nintendo game. Freak accident. Now I have to defeat the mother brain, restore order to the kingdom. And Link's been acting kind of like a jerk. Well, it's <sighs> Hold on, another call. Hello? 3.24 p.m. Okay, look, I'm putting everybody on speakerphone. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 No. I mean, yes. Look, we're taking over the land of Malasia. I'm flying you all out to Nevada so we can prepare for the invasion. And where are we all gonna stay? It's okay, I booked everybody a hotel room. Well, gee, I didn't see that one coming. Oh boy, I'm excited! Are you excited? I'm excited! Excited! I cannot believe he dragged us all out here. Tell me about it. I got American food I could be puking up right now. Hey, you look familiar. Aren't you that doctor guy? What? No. No, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 you're always trying to take over the world and stuff. No, I mean, I swear I don't. No, 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 you got the goggles and the... No! I mean, okay, I was before, but that was the past. Okay, I'm going to ignore you now. So you're a picture, huh? <sighs> all right, 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 all right! Is everybody here? I sure as hell hope so. We can't fit any more people in this room. My God! Where's Big Mickey? I think you're sitting on him, dude. That's okay. I didn't want to stand anyway. <laughs> all right, people! We are about to do the ballsiest thing any of us have ever done before. We are going to take over the land of Malasia! Why? What? Why are we taking over Malasia? I mean, isn't it barely an acre of land? 
Mars Carol, do you think anyone else here honestly has that question? Why? Okay, okay. Fact is that it's our one opportunity to finally seize control of something. I mean, haven't you ever wanted to rule your own nation? Does SimCity count? This is our chance to finally have power, to create an empire unlike any other. But it's only an acre of land. What can we do with an acre of land? What can we do with an acre of land? Whoa. People, what may start as just a small acre of land will blossom into something larger than any of us can possibly imagine. Yeah, like two acres of land. <laughs> you know, there's another group of people that thought like you, Linkara, and they were called Nazis! They were close-minded, hate-filled people that just want everything their way. Are you a Nazi, Linkara? No. Are you a Nazi, Linkara? No. Because I don't want any Nazis around here. No, I'm not a Nazi! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not a Nazi! Good. Now let me tell you about a group of people that didn't give up. They were called Nazis. They had a crazy plan too. Everybody thought they were nuts. But you know what? They got pretty far, didn't they? Because they were dedicated. Yeah! And strong! Yeah! A lot of people said they were crazy. Yeah! Well, everybody said that we're crazy, so that gives us a better advantage, doesn't it? Yeah! Think about it. First we take Malasia, and then the neighbors down the street. And then their neighbors, and then their neighbors, and then their neighbors. Until we build a military force so gigantic that nobody will be able to stop us. And then we go global. First we start with Texas. Then Canada. Then France. And then whatever other nation stands in our way. And then... Pudding? The world! Yeah! And don't you let anyone tell you that you can't do it. So what are you people? A Nazi? Or Nazi? Yeah! yeah! President of this great nation, I'm going to need a vice president to be by my side. You're the only one who can keep the Nastasha name alive. Mostly because it's in your name. Interested? Well, I don't know. I was kind of holding out for president. Well, that's all the vice president does. Oh, okay then. Cool. All right, everybody. What are we waiting for? Let's go kick some Malasia! Yeah! yeah! It may be a Mickey. So, this nostalgia critic guy says he might be invading our nation. What do you think? I say we keep our defenses high, but not worry too much about it. much smaller in person. That's because you're far away from him, jackass. Well, he's about to get a lot closer. Charge!
Well, that didn't work. Didn't you have any other strategy outside of going, ah? Well, I didn't think that far ahead. No, you just thought up to where everyone was in charge and you were ruling the fucking world. Yes. Well, you can't just do that, Critic. You have to plan these things out. You have to have a strategy, for God's sake. Yeah, but that takes hard work. Hard work that we do not have! I declare this sucking. Me too. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, out of here. This is balls. Wait! Do you dare leave now in your moment of victory? I would never leave you, Critic. I know that film, Brain. We just need a plan! How about we cut them open and wear their organs as hair nets? Nah, we'd have to get close to them first. Oh. How about I lunge Barry over like a kamikaze bear? Nah, I think they see that coming. Oh. How about a legion of spiders? They're quite small and fit in the most overhead compartments. No! How'd you get in here anyway? Just want to be loved. Get out! Who? Oh. How about we use Tom's head as a battering ram? Hey! Nah, his head is too soft. Hey! Maybe we can jump on him and use this turtle shell to get extra points! That's your answer to everything! Well, it would work if you gave it a shot! Hey guys, uh, I got an idea. This might seem like a shot in the dark, but what if we just used weapons? Nah, nah, it's a terrible idea. Wait! I have an idea! Gee, does it involve using weapons? It involves using weapons! Yeah. Angry Joe, get your MP5s. Linkara, get your magic gun. Benzai, start wrapping Barry in explosives. By God, we'll give him a battle worth fighting for. And this time, there will be no dawn for Malasia. Is everyone preparing for battle? They are, Spoonie. Good. You know, Spoonie, you would really help the team out if you were to... Well, you know. Summon him? It would just be this one, Spoonie. Just this once and you can go back to normal. Normal? There's no normal. I don't even know what normal is anymore. Every day I live with a beast raging inside of me. All you need to do is set him free, and then once you have him under control... Control? There is no control! There is only anarchy and chaos and the world writhing in pain! But if you would only try... Try? There is no try! There is only the darkness! Give in, Spoonie. Give in for me, and the team, and for me! I left the madness behind me a long time ago. You'll find none of it left here. Sometimes we all need to give in to the madness.
heads up, guys. Uh, Malasia might be under attack in a couple minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Lord Cat, make ready the new salute for our nation. <laughs> All right, people. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Bravery will be rewarded. Destinies will be revealed. And the honor of a new nation will be born. A nation which I will declare kick ass signal to sound the charge. Okay, first of all, it's Phallus, not Phallus. Second, the guy's standing right there looking at you. Why don't you send the signal yourself? <laughs> Phallus, just do it.
just a toy train. This is it, Barry. At least you're dying for a good cause. It was another to serve you, but I mean. Don't get me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Don't make us review you. Follow him? President Ba, hand over Malasia and nobody gets hurt. I'm not the president. I'm Fritz von Ba, Minister of Making Things Orderly. But it's so obviously you. Yes, I get that a lot, but the fact is we're two totally different people. Okay, well, where's the president? Oh, he's gone. Flew right out the door. So, you mean we won? It looks that way, yes. <laughs> This is indeed a great day. We have given birth to a new nation! Yeah! And there will be government, rules, and a new democracy to live by! Why a democracy? Because I say so. And I will be your president! Yeah! Nostalgia Chick will be your vice president! Yeah! And the rest will figure out at another time! Another time! Yeah! And that's my first order as your president. I shall build a table, a round table, so that everyone can look each other in the eye. Well, that's a good idea. It's like everyone's equal. Yes, and I shall be elevated above you in a rocket chair, a magnificent rocket chair, so I can look down at all of you and see just how equal we all are. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable, everybody, for we have given birth to the greatest nation ever known. We have given birth Dateline Kikassia, year one of the new Critic Imperium. Confidence is high as this new and proud nation works long and hard to establish its new government. I'm Chris Larios from Transmission Awesome News, here in the nation formerly known as Malasia, but now as of recent known as Kikassia. Though it is not easy to establish a government from the ground up, Kikassia is fortunate to have hard-working individuals make their regime stable. 
And here is one of them now. Lord Cat, recently appointed Minister of Trade. Tell me, new Minister, what does your job exactly entail? I have a lot of video games I can trade. Some NES, some Super Nintendo, some Sega Genesis, and we're hoping that we can trade them with other nations for goods and valuables. Do you really think other nations will trade goods and valuables just for video games? Oh, oh sure. China would sell 20% of its military just for a copy of Marble Madness. And I guess it's pretty rare down there. However, military forces are not a major concern in Kickassia. Secretary of Defense Angry Joe assures the public that everything is well protected. It's true that we are a small nation and therefore more prone to attacks, but we have a good drill sergeant who knows how to keep up the men's morale. Stand up straight! Tuck in your shirt! Stop being so tall! Did you say something? Oh god, no. I'm definitely afraid of you. Looks like a solid team you got there. Yes, indeed. Now there have been a few reports that you're in fact a little gun crazy. Who said that? But an invasion seems unlikely thanks to good relations being kept by the head of immigration, Benzai. What do you mean you can't understand me? I'm French! That's the language of love! If you can't understand me, then you can't understand love! Hold on, let me transfer you to my second in command. Hey, you think you got it, bruv? I've had a time bomb strapped to my body and was blown into two separate pieces. There's not enough stitches in the world to recover from the emotional pain I'm going through. Prick. Every nation needs a treasurer, and Kikassia is his cinema star, who, as I understand, also designed the flag for Kikassia. True? It's true, Chris. And for a nation like Kikassia, I figured that we really needed a real kick-ass flag. That's why I came up with a muscle-bound ice cream cone carrying machine guns and shooting laser beams out his eyes. Because when people look at that, all they can say is, kick ass. Well, it looks like you guys haven't put it on a flagpole yet. Well, we weren't exactly sure how to get their flag down and ours up, so we're just using Handsome Tom as our flagpole. I must say, he doesn't look very happy. He's not, Chris. <laughs> He's definitely not. <laughs> And I was also the concern of preserving nature, but no worries, as Lee from Still Gaming has taken over as head of the Environmental Protection Agency. Tell me, Lee, what is your plan for saving all the cute little bunnies? I'm sorry, I'm just still getting over the fact that I'm three-dimensional. I mean, I can move with fluid motion. I can touch. I can feel. Is this what I've been missing all this time? And no others looking out for the well-being of Kickassia. You feel beautiful. Take Sage, for example. He is making sure that everyone is in good shape, acting as Kickassia's Surgeon General. In my short time as Surgeon General here at Kickassia, I made two amazing medical discoveries. One, when holding an Uzi, you will not die. Really? And how does that work exactly? I'm holding one, and I'm alive. Science proven. Secondly, our research has shown that dieting and exercise does not help build a healthy body. So that's why I've encouraged everyone here to start smoking. <laughs> According to our studies, smoking does well to strengthen the body and prevent cancer, especially pregnant women. <laughs> Your studies show that. Oh yes, it's right here on this chart. <laughs> what do you know? Had the darn thing upside down. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But not everyone in Kickassia is questionably insane. Take, for example, Paul, the local shock jock radio DJ. And while the big wigs up on the hill with their fancy hats and their capes look down on the small people with oppression, with taxation, with sexual repression, don't get me even started on the sexual repression. Take a stand, people. Oppose the big people with their fancy fucking hats. So, what exactly about the Kickassia government bothers you so? Well, nothing really. It's just when people agree with angry hosts on the radio, it makes them feel better about themselves. So, in my own way, I'm helping the people's morale. Another person keeping up the morale is Spoonie, who is now head officer for science and technology. Yeah, at first we didn't have much of a science department. In fact, the original space program was just a stomp rocket. But I'm certain we can get things to a more legitimate level. Hey, weren't you that crazy scientist before? Uh, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you had the goggles and the... No! I mean, I was before, but that was the past. 
Well, there are some in this nation who still do well to keep order and justice in hand. This is Linkar, head of the FBI. Tell me, Linkar, what are you going to do to keep this nation safe? Well, it's all about surprise to fool our enemy. We are trying to find those who are best able to blend into their environments. For example, we've discovered that Juario here has a natural talent for camouflage. Isn't that right, Juario? Yep. But do you really think stealth and surprise are going to be enough to keep your enemies on their toes? Oh yes, it's all about illusion. For example, I'm not even in front of you. Oh, very good. Well, we all know what goes on outside the government building. Let's see what goes on inside the government building. Ow! Sorry. This is Secretary of State Phelous. Tell me, Phelous, what is a normal day entitled for you? Well, mostly I come up with brilliant ideas and the Nostalgia Creek slaps me and then claims them as his own. Does it pay well? No, but it sure does hurt a lot. But behind every great man is a woman, and presumably behind her another man. But in the case of the Nostalgia Chick, that is not so. Well, he is a maverick to say the least, but no matter what his decision might be and whatever we disagree on, I still stand right by him. On what issues do you disagree with? Well, like our foreign policy experience with Nevada. You. You've had foreign policy experience with Nevada. You betcha. In what way? Well, if you look right outside, Nevada's right out there. You can see it from right here. Indeed. And where do you guys get your information on current events? Do you read the papers or...? Yes, I, I... that's it. I read the papers. Which ones? All of them. Ish. Well, there's also talk that the Nostalgia Critic wants to push for more regulation and you want less. In which way has he wanted more that you haven't agreed with? Oh... you know. Actually, no. I don't. Well, when I find an answer, I'll get it right back to you. And finally, in the past, you've been known as a smart, edgy, young, opinionated woman. But recently you've been labeled... An idiotic dumb ox who's trying to play naive and innocent in order to sneak into the president's seat. What's your opinion on that? This world is full of c cruel, cold-hearted people. and they don't maintain the same standard of niceness that I try to maintain. Am I not nice? Yes, you are very nice. So why would they say such a thing? Probably the idiotic, dumb ox part I just mentioned. I would presume that it's because I'm a woman and prejudice is alive and well in this world. But Ma's girl is a woman. <laughs> sure she is, and I'm the tooth fairy. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, an interview with the man himself, the man who made kick Assia possible, President Nostalgia Critic. Greetings, Chris! Mr. Critic, what are your plans now for this new glorious nation? Well, first we plan on taking over the neighbors down the street. We've sent them pamphlets. Then we plan on taking over Nevada, America, and then the world. Ah, and how do you plan on accomplishing this exactly? A gentleman never tells, but I can give you a hint. It involves... killing. Indeed. But Mr. Critic, what about the fact that you keep the old president of this country alive and working for you? Oh, that's not the president. That's Fritz von Baum, Minister of Keeping Things Orderly. I don't know. I'm going with it. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mr. Critic. Not at all, Chris. Oh, and one more thing. Mr. Critic, would you say your diabolical plan is to take over the world? Naturally! Well then, would you say your plan is to one day conquer the galaxy? Eventually! Oh, Mr. Critic, do you someday plan on being bigger than God? Of that question, you can definitely say yes. Say, Critic, do you get a lot of pussy with that outfit? Of course! Thank you. This has been Chris Larios reporting from Kickassia. I gotta say, Critic, our financial situation isn't looking good. Of the money we have left, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to accomplish nearly what we had in mind. Quiet! Can't you see I am watching Hogan's Heroes? But Critic, this is important stuff. We Silence! gotta- Silence! 
I have a new rule. Every day at 4 o'clock p.m. shall be Hogan's Heroes time. Everybody shuts up and watches Hogan's Heroes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Go away. Fine. But don't come to me when... You know, just don't come to me. Excuse me, critic. I couldn't help but hear you're having trouble with our financial situation. Is this Hogan's Heroes related? And I just thought it'd be a good idea if we started charging for tourism. You know, t-shirts, postcards and such. Nah, that's stupid. Oh, okay. Wait! I have an idea! What could that be? To increase our financial status, we shall charge for tourism! T-shirts! Postcards! Think of it, Phelous! I already have. Then make it so! I have spoken! Why do you let him take your ideas like that? I don't know, because he's the president and stuff. Well, wouldn't you like to know what that's like? <laughs> yeah, sure. Wouldn't you? The plans for your rocket shower are in, sir! Excellent! Do they have the little beer holders on the side? They sure do. Cool. Hey, Miss Downstreet, we're pals, right? Huh? Huh? We're pals? Yes, Film Brain, we are indeed pals. Yeah, because this is what pals do, right? Sit on sofas and watch Hogan's Heroes and stuff, right? The things you have just said are true. <laughs> Say, I was thinking, in my next movie review, would you, uh, would you like to do a cameo and... Uh... Film reviews? We do not do film reviews anymore! We don't? Well, um... Well, what do we do? We sit back and acknowledge the fact that we have our own nation. Oh, uh, how long do we do that for? Forever, Film Brain. Forever. Oh. Say, do you ever get tired of doing that voice? Nonsense! This is a voice of the gods! A voice that demands honor and justice everywhere he go- A little bit, yeah. Sims now, what's up? Ugh, these stupid finances. We've got no money because Nostalgia Dickless over there won't do anything. Uh, I'm sure he's building up to something. Like what? Watching more Hogan's Heroes? No, I think at five Full House comes on. But that's what I mean. He does nothing. It's like the job of a president is to be removed from reality while everyone else does the work. Yeah, I imagine that. If that was the case, why wouldn't you be in charge? What? I'm just saying, if you know you're more qualified, why couldn't you be president? Hey, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm sure you both know what you're doing. Alright, men. You make wonderful agents as well as soldiers, but today we're going to teach you the element of surprise. Surprise! You're learning. So, Linkara, how goes it? Pretty well. I was just teaching these men the element of surprise. Have you punched them yet? After lunch. Hey, Linkara, what's that on your leg? It's a receipt for 20 tons of dynamite. Who signed for it? The Nostalgia Critic. What's he doing getting dynamite? I don't know, but it can't be good. We have to tell somebody about this. You mean like the Nostalgia Critic? No! How about I make you some tea there, Mr. President? Why, yes, Mrs. Vice President, that'd be wonderful. You know, I don't know why the press picks on you so much. You seem like the nicest person to me. As we all know, nice people make the perfect politicians. Just look at Carter. I mean, you're so good at making people feel at home. Lowering their defenses, making it feel like they have nothing to worry about. Indeed. You gonna drink your tea there? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Say, um, is it me or does this tea smell a little, um, poisony? Oh, it's just an herbal fusion. 
Drink your tea, honey. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, critic, there's something you ought to... Later. Can I get some cream in my tea? <laughs> cream just makes your penis smaller now. Drink your tea. Yeah, but I just, I don't feel it's tea without cream, really. You know what they put in that cream? They oh. put all sorts of hormones and antibiotics in it. Yeah, but that just makes me like it more. It's just, cream makes a big difference for me. I can put the damn cream in it. I'm present. I can't even spell that out because I didn't kill a guy. I'll give you fucking tea because I'm your bitch. There's anything in the kitchen. I'll give you some fucking cream. I'll give you some 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 cream. Here's your tea. Oh, thank you so much, hon. Drink it! Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! That's right! I can't stand tea! Why don't you give me a candy bar while you're up? You betcha. I gotta tell you, I'm so lucky to have a vice president like you. You know, not every vice president would get their president tea. You know what I mean? I mean, there's just some people that can help you out in a real tight spot. I mean, a real tight spot. I mean, some people out there just don't get how... <laughs> She's so quirky. Boy, it's so great to be back here in this crowded, cramped hotel room again. I wonder if it's still impossible for me to stretch my arms. <gasps> I can't! Happy birthday to me! Okay, now what exactly is going on here? A whole lot of shit is going down, snob. Tell him about it, Lee. Lee? Have you ever felt the motion of water pour down your three-dimensional organs? I have, and it is miraculous. All right, uh, Lord Cat, fill him in! We found a receipt for 20 tons of dynamite paid for by the Nostalgia Critic. We don't know what it means, but it can't be good. So what, you really think he's going to use it against us? Who knows? He might be planning to blow us all up. He's mad, I tell you! Mad! Mad! Okay, I'm good. Look, the Nostalgia Critic may be a little nutty, but he's not... nuts. You look me in the eye and tell me he's not stupid enough to do something that crazy. Okay, you have a point, but couldn't the signature have been replicated? In fact, couldn't the whole thing be replicated? How many of you have been listening to that Ba guy recently? <coughs> yeah, gets around, doesn't he? Those with brains usually have power over the brainless. Look, I'll have a talk with the critic to see if any of this is true. What if he suspects us going behind his back? He won't suspect us, I'll put it very delicately. Everybody thinks you're nuts. Inconsiderate pricks, why? I think that Baw guy is spreading lies about you. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't have kept that Baw guy around. Blame Phelous, it was his idea! <sighs> now everybody thinks I'm nuts. Nah, they just get paranoid. That always happens when big changes happen. Hmm, I suppose you're right. I mean, I'll win their confidence back soon enough. <laughs> There's even a rumor going around that you bought 20 tons of dynamite for yourself. <laughs> no, that part was true. What? Oh yeah, the whole place is wired. You see, I've wanted this place for a long time. And now that I got it, I'm not gonna let anyone take it away from me. I've discovered that the world is filled with nasty wasties. And a lot of those nasty wasties want what I got. So, if any of them try to take away what I have, I'm not afraid to go down with the ship. Take everybody with me. But that's just if one of those nasty wasty shows up. Or if someone in this beloved nation of mine is a nasty wasty. What do you say, Cinema Snob? You're not one of those nasty wasties, are you? Oh, of course not. Good. I'm glad we had this talk. Take care. Yeah, you too. I do enjoy our little chats.
You're right, he's nuts. We gotta act and we gotta act fast. I say we castrate him with a fork, tie him to a cactus, then play piñata with his entrails! What? You were just so fast to say that. Just passionate, that's all. I like it! Well, maybe we could play really bad music. That'll get him out of the government house. What kind of music would you pick? Michael Bolton. No one should be subjected to that. I like it! How about a legion of spiders? No! Seriously! Who keeps letting him in? Everybody hates the plan about spiders. Why does everybody hate the plan about spiders? I like it! Look, I'm the one who brought it up to him. I'll be the one who takes him down. Trust me, by the end of the week, the Nostalgia Critic won't be the king of Kickassia anymore. And they were talking about killing you, and they were talking about the different ways of killing you, and the cinema stop was like, it's my plan, so I'll kill him. So I ran back here as fast as I could, but they saw me, so Superman broke in, and he killed them all with his heat vision, and then he took me back to his home, where we saw Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and the rest of the Justice League! And then we went out to a bar, and we had a couple of drinks, I got totally shit-faced, and then I hailed a cab, and I got back here! Is that all true, Film Brain? Well, I kind of got carried away with the second half, but the first half is really true! <sighs> well, I guess we have no choice. We will have to give Cinema Snob a trial. Bring him to me! Right. <sighs> Alright, guys. I've got a lot of things I need to do. This better be... Well, that's confusing. Get your own back here! What? 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 What are you saying? A trial! What? A trial! What? You are going to have a trial. Oh, God, shoot me. No, no! And so it is the ruling of this court that you be found guilty for the crimes against our government. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Nay! Too bad I'm in charge! Guilty! Cinema Snob, do you have anything to say before I sentence you to your... Sentence? Oh, I got something to say. Well, I'll make it quick. I don't want to miss Gilligan. When I helped build Kickassia, I had a dream of freedom, justice, and honor. But now I see it's been shadowed by the dumbass cockface that sits across from me. You really know how to put the dick in dictatorship. You're out of order, cinema snob! You're out of order! They're out of order! The whole system is out of order! I am the system! I know you're the system! That's my point! I know it's your point! It's just that when you say that I'm out of order and the system's out of order, it's kind of redundant! What I'm trying to get across is fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Hey! Won't somebody make it the children? <laughs> Now, what should his sentencing be? Come on, come on, nobody has any ideas? Well, I guess I have an idea. Wait! I have an idea! Oh, uh, really? What is it? The idea that I have right now requires... Cinema snob. There's a cinema snob to enter the... Realm of everlasting being, da, 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 banished. being banished for 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 forever. Forever, you are to be banished forever. Oh, good. I'll pack a lunch. May your honor be stricken forever. May your name always be associated with douchebaggery, and may you walk until you walk no more. Go and never return. Okay, I'm gonna catch a cab. If anyone needs me, I'll be at the hotel down the street. Go! Venture into the great unknown! Who knows what undiscovered terrors await you? I've got my cell phone if anyone needs to call. Go! May the harshness of this world have no mercy on your soul! Nobody look at him! He has brought to our good nation. Go and never return. Ever.
return again! Management is hard work. Time for me to get some old shut eye. My God, I know this place. It's my room, but not my old review room. It's been restored, just like it all. as I remember it. But who did this? What happened to my room? Where's my bed? Where are my things? I thought you would like it this way. Mati. Yes, it is I, Mati, from Captain Planet. You did this? But why? To remind you of who you are. And to bring you a warning. A word of warning? What? The warning is... Stop being a douchebag! It's totally gonna backfire! Damn it, Mati, I don't have time for this! Why did you get rid of Cinema Snob, Critic? Damn it, Mati! It had to be done! Is it your destiny to not only be the first, but the worst? Damn it, Mati! Sacrifices have to be made. But at what cost? Are you willing to let down the people that got you here? Your friends? Your allies? Damn it! Mati! The president has no friends. He did once, when he was loyal and strong. And not an ass muncher! Remember your roots, critic. Remember your roots! Damn it, Mati! My roots are here, in Kirkassia! And if I can't have it, no one can. You're a fool, Critic! A damn fool! You can't change your destiny! You can only choose to beat it! And you will fail. Shit! Cinema Snub is gone, now what do we do? I suggest an attack. A full frontal assault by all of us? I'll orchestrate it myself. Damn it, man! He'll have plenty of time to set off the detonator! He'll kill us all! I can do this, Joe! I've seen Patton over a hundred times! No! Please? No, it's too risky. Desperate times call for desperate measures. There is only one logical option. No, you're not seriously suggesting... He wouldn't suspect us all if just you go in. No! You're crazy! You're all crazy! Come on, quit being a poo stabber and just do it. No! I... I won't be able to! Give in to the madness, Mooney. Deep down inside, you know who you truly are. No, damn it! I mean, I was before, but... That was the past! Listen to your senses, man! <coughs> You've never a team, then do it for us! The team! You do realize that once he's unleashed, there's no holding him back. Sometimes the best way to deal with a madman is to send in another madman. That's a stupid plan! Exactly! A stupid plan for a stupid man! Are you high? All right. I'll give in to the madness. Yeah! <laughs>
no strategy for this. Plus, he's my arch enemy. It's just annoying. No, they're right. You know, we gotta fight madness with, with madness. And and he's the craziest we got. Are you ready there, God? <laughs> I was born ready. <laughs> hey, Hogan, who's that? Sorry, critic, but your reign of terror is at an end. Now, a new reign of terror begins. My reign of terror! <laughs> All right, you beaker-sucking bozo. You want a piece of me? Well, you got it. before I dispose of the body. What do you mean? Well, first of all, I want Kekasia! Uh, that wasn't part of the deal. I am altering the deal! Pray I don't alter it any further. Oh wait, another alteration. <laughs> you didn't pray hard enough. Um, I would also like my own flag made for me. One with the evolution of man, except with me at the end of the line. Oh, and I'd also like my own ice cream parlor. There's never an ice cream stand around when you really need one. Oh, and it better goddamn well have chocolate chocolate chip. God help you if you don't have chocolate chocolate chip. And perhaps, uh, a... to the purity of unarmed combat! Well, this is just superconductor electromagnetism. Certainly you've heard of it. It levitates bullet trains from Tokyo to Osaka. It will levitate my rocket chair once it finally arrives. And it also levitates... Standing on your tippy toes, don't you? Ha! Your superconductor electromagnetism is nothing compared to science! But it is science! Well, I'm science here!
Somebody put him up to it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. He's just French. They just talk. Go, go ahead and kill him. I don't want to die! Is someone conspiring against me? What gave you that idea? When he says somebody's conspiring against me. <laughs> I didn't say that. I still have so much more science to do! He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, but a few holes in the doctor help! No! No! Then what's going on? I want my mommy! Nothing. I assure you, nothing is wrong. You're a part of this, aren't you? Me or him? Either! Yes! Yes! No. You are against me. Help me, Santa! You're just paranoid, Critic. Who else is in on it? Help me, Jesus Christ! We're all your friends, Critic. Are you? Yes. Are you? Help me! Santa cry! Santa cry! Oh. Santa cry! No. It's me alone. Gee, that's sad. You just killed Santa Christ. You all saw it. He came at me with a chainsaw. We heard gunshots. Did it come from a gun? Holy smokes. You killed Santa Christ? I didn't mean to. It was an accident. My god, the greatest combination of Christmas icons is dead. Yeah, I... I guess he is. This is a sad day for Handsome Tom. <laughs> this ain't been Mickey! <laughs> At least he died a good, strong man. And three-dimensionally. Oh, hey guys, what did I miss? Santa Claus! No! You should have been holding an Uzi. Wait a minute. Isn't Santa Christ made out of the hopes and dreams of people everywhere? Maybe. Just maybe. If we wish hard enough, we can bring him back to life. No, Critic, no, that's crazy talk. But do you dare try? Do you dare try? Come on, people. Let's show what it truly means to believe. Believe in Santa Christ. We 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 believe in And now, all the people out there, everyone who ever cared about a treasured icon, we believe in Santa Christ. We believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. We believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. We believe in Santa Christ. I 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 believe in... Wait, you want me to say what? I believe in Santa Christ. Santa Christ, I'll see you later. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ. I believe in Santa Christ! And now, all the people watching at home, come on, say it with us now. We believe in Santa Christ. We believe in Santa Christ. That's it! We believe in Santa Christ. 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 
That did nothing. Toss him. Told you it wouldn't work. Yeah, it didn't work because you're a douche face. Damn it! We have to think of something and think of something fast! I don't know. I still think Dr. Insano might work. I feel like a puppy that's been raped by a bulldozer. No, 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 no. No more Mr. Insano. We have to think of something else. I think our last option after our last option is Linkara. Yeah, you might have a point. What do you say, Linkara? Why don't you try out some of that strategic mumbo jumbo? Joe, Joe, Joe. I know we've had our differences in the past. We have? Yes, I don't like you very much. Oh. But your love of destruction, mixed with my love of planning destruction, might serve us well. So you'll do it? It's my job to do it. Alright troops, here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna hit him during the day. We're gonna hit him like crap through a ghost. Now then, the reason why we're hitting during the day is because it'll be less likely that he'll have the detonator on him. Especially when we let him have it. Let him have what? The greatest plan that man has ever known. That's a game of risk. Yes, and it's also going to serve as our battle plan. Now then, just assume that Northern Europe here is a government house and Greenland is the backyard. Angry Joe and I will be stationed here. And some Tom and Ape and Mickey will travel in through the back. Then Monty will come in through Messina. Wait, wait, you can't travel that way. The countries have to be connected. No, they don't. Yes, they do. See? See those dotted lines? They connect. They do? Oh, I thought so. I thought you needed dice for this. Do you? I don't know. How do you play this game anyway? No, guys? Glad you asked. You got your deck of 56 risk cards, three red dice, two white dice, six sets of color armies, and of course your game board, because every board game has a game board. The first step is to claim all the territories. Each player rolls one die. Whoever rolls the highest number gets to place one of their armies on the territory of their choice. After all territories are claimed, gameplay begins. At the beginning of every turn, count the number of territories you already own, then divide the total by three, then add that number of armies. You can also get armies by trading in certain combinations of cards. You get the cards from capturing a territory. The attacker rolls the red dice based off the number of armies they have on the territory which is attacking. The winner is the first greedy bastard to take over the whole world. And, uh, that's all there is to it. Hey, that's good to know. Thanks, Board James. Well, thank you for the, uh, obligatory cameo. Anyway, whose turn was it? I think Paul had the dice last. Let's do this. Hey, wait a minute! What are we doing playing a game? We're planning a strategy! Oh. Oh. This game is so much more fun, though! We're planning a takeover! Alright, already. Who is it? It's Film Brain. How do they know it's really you? I wouldn't want you to know it's me, so I wouldn't admit it was me. Confusing enough. What are you doing here, bitch snitch? I want to help you take down the critic. That is, if you still have me. Yeah? How do we know you're not going to double cross us? Because... Because... Because of the staff drink killed Santa Claus! <laughs> there. There. So you're saying you want vengeance for Santa Christ? I want his freaking head! Good, then we're all on the same page now. Now, we've just decided that Linkaro's gonna plan the attack, and you just missed a humorous cameo from Board James. We're just about to talk about how we're gonna bring down the Empire. Good. Very, very good. Good. Everybody set? Alright then. Now listen carefully, we've only got a few days to plan this out, so let's get it right.
kids from school are we? Both as a school girl as can be. Filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little maids from school. Everything is a source of fun. <laughs> what the hell? Excellent shot, Mr. Joe. Except for the fact that you missed. Fire again! Riddick, you magnificent bastard, I read your book! Oh, that's a she. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Joe and Lincar have gone insane with violence. Destroy them until they're nothing but rubble! Did you hear me? Annihilate them! Do I have to start paying you so I can cut your wages? Revolution! Get him, Barry. We we with a beat. I love it. God help me, I love it so. Mary! Oh my god! Get out of the way, Pip Squeaky! Dictatorship will be so one-sided. Ah! Fateless. After all the good ideas I came up with for you. Ah! <gasps> shut up! Just shut up! E2, film break. Sorry, critic, but you shot one Santa Christ too many. Oh, you're such a twerp. You're a twerp! So, you've all been plotting against me. You know, I really expected Kick Ass here to kick a little more ass than this. I am very disappointed in all of you. You have indeed been hanging out with the wrong crowd, Critic. Cinema snob. How dare you return from your banishment, dumb! That was the old order. This is the new order. New order? Yes, one that's been coming to you for a long time. Weren't you Dr. Insano? Yeah, I got better. The age of Kagassia has come to an end, Critic. A new age lies before us. An age without you. It's okay, we got him. His body is spread out over. Oh. You've had your fun running this country, Critic. Well, now it's our turn. And the first rule of order, a move for a medieval ass-kicking of our old president. All in favor? Aye! All opposed? Motion passes. Have fun, everybody. Wait! I have an idea! Really? What is it? The idea involves, um... You? Me! Uh, um... Getting... Getting... Uh, 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 Your uh, ass uh, kicked! My ass kicked! Me getting my ass kicked! No, wait. Too late. <laughs> Hold it! What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just wanted to make my cameo. Bye. Critic is defeated! Yeah! Revolution! A new dawn is upon us! The uprising has begun! <laughs> mm -hmm. Well 
done, everyone. Well done. Now, seeing as though I am next in line for the presidency, it's only fitting that I should wear the crown. You'll refer to me as Madam President from now on. Wait a minute. You, this whole cutesy, naive thing was all just an act? Yep. You're not really that nice? Nope. You're really not that stupid? Uh-uh, but what I can tell you is this, that I am the new Rulinatrix of Kickassia. And there are gonna be some new rules around here. Excuse me, but it was my insight that overthrew this government. So I think that it should be I taking over as acting president. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Since I was the one who orchestrated this operation, it is obviously I who should be president. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I did not put on this faulty crap for oh, fear no, waiting you for him lady. to die. That is mine. Santa Cries! Santa Cries! We all love Santa Cries! Santa Christ? That's right! On the third day I rise again, in fulfillment of the awesomeness! Santa Christ! It's so good to see you! Hey, um, wait a minute. Why did it take you three days to come back? Why couldn't you just do it right away? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Have you ever been dead before? Now? Have you ever risen from the grave? I guess not. Well then, I guess you don't have any sort of frame of reference now, do you? <laughs> That's okay. Here, have a fellow. Oh my god, I love this game. I know! <laughs> Listen, this task wasn't any of yours to take, now was it? Aren't you happy with your online shows? Aren't you glad that people actually give a crap about what you have to say? Yeah! yeah. I guess so. That's a good point there. Yeah. Well, what do you say we get back to that nice Mr. Baw fellow? It was his place originally, after all. You know, he's right. Let's give Mr. Baw's land back. Yeah! <laughs> Freedom! Wondrous freedom! Shine and bask in the glory of your new world! <laughs> ah, no you don't! Need I remind you that there are 20 tons of dynamite under this nation? Uh, joke's on you, moron. I disconnected the dynamite after I left. You push that thing and nothing happens. I don't believe you! I push this button and we all get blown sky high! Very well! For the honor, Pandora of Kigasia! Hello, um, because my team can't run a nation, because I can't run a nation, we've decided to give the nation back to you. So, you can own Malassi again. But it was never mine to begin with. Oh, Christ. Alright, you know, when you see the president, you know, when he shows up, can you tell him that Malassi is his again? I will relay the message. Yeah, you do that, you twat. The fuck did I want this place anyway? Goddamn wait the time. And so, all are departed away. The great shroud of the desert rolls over the nation. Good night, you princes of mayhem, you 
warriors of virtue, the beauty of the world, the paragon of warriors. Now is the winter of their discontent. Did they not learn that it was theirs to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune? Did they not discover that diamonds are forever, but tomorrow never dies? Did they not recall the old Klingon proverb, that revenge is a dish best served cold? Did they not learn as conquerors once before, that all is fair in love and war? No. Ha ha ha!